too. You think you can see the strangest rocket stove you've ever seen. Well, there's the bad boy there. We call that our Texas Longhorn. Walk around here so you can see what's going on. We're just having some fun out here. Figured we'd build something extra and Mike and I were sitting here talking and both of us came up with the same idea at the same time. That's a little, uh, pull that out, we drag out our ashes and put it back in. <coughs> six inch feed tube, six inch pipe, 12 inch wood, would just barely stick out of there, that's about 18 inch or so. And uh, there's a cooking surface right there. There was a cooking surface right there. We had, uh, I don't see where a little, I don't see where a little star is, but we had that on it. And then uh, we decided to build this contraption here, which is a six and a half inch pipe with two number four, two four inch thin wall pipes coming up out of it. If this all works, we're gonna cut this out in here and then put us a little partition going down here and down here and a piece of flat here and uh, but we figured we'd make us another spot or two so one cooking spot two cooking spots three cooking spots and four then we're gonna put coffee warmers down there and put an extra leg out there then something over there and then come off the side that pipe. Well, anyway, that's what we were thinking about while we are playing around anyway. But uh, we're just having fun out in the shop building stuff. So we're getting it fired up right now. And it's raining again. And it has been raining for the past freaking two or three days solid. Uh, I'm going to shoot between your legs there for a second. Yeah. That way. Oh. Baggy pants. <laughs> Alright, there's Mike. There you go. And uh, there's the boys behind the camera anyway. Hello, YouTube. And this is what we're going to call a longhorn stove. We're going to have us a uh, smokestack there, there. Something to cook on there. It's already there. working. No, it's, uh, we'll have it going here in a minute. Probably going to put some dampers in each one of the upvisors. That's what we're figuring we're going to have to do anyway. All right, we just hit it. Just hit it with a propane torch. Just now going. We got our draft already. And as soon as that wet wood heats up a little bit, that'll quit smoking. That's an awesome looking stove, man. I, that was a heck of an idea. We both come up with that idea at the exact yeah. same time, too, didn't we? Yep. <laughs> to the left is our uh, six inch round, slow bend 90 stove. Man, does it work. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, the goal post. All right, that's uh, 181 degrees in there, so yeah, it's not too far from bowling. And we'll shoot that. That's a 186, and this is probably going to be pretty warm here. That's uh, 503 degrees, and down here we're about 835 degrees. There we go. Let's try that one more time. Oops, that's over a thousand degrees. And here's a firebox. We got our stuff chock full. Got a, Mike's been working on that. Got a good good flame, good draw. It's got a good suction moving through there. And you can really, these big stoves, you can really stuff them full. And I'd be willing to bet, even with those small sticks right there, you're probably looking at about 40 minute run time, when you reckon? Yeah. Be about right. But you can load that all up with big stuff and you have about an hour run time. So, uh, anyway, our phase two of our six inch square tube stove turned into Longhorn, or we're going to call that the Tailgater Special because that looks like a field goal to me. Yeah. Is that what you were saying a minute ago? Uh -huh. 
Yeah, we're going to call that tailgater special. <laughs> what an invention. And it's, uh... Still ain't boiling. No, but it's almost there. 204 degrees. Yeah, 212. That one's going to be boiling right there in just a second. Yeah, now we can... <coughs> Let me take tech measure of that right quick, because that's ex extremely high. And we built that extra long anyway. You're talking 28 inches. A 28 inch riser. I'm sorry, 26 inch. 26 inch riser, so that's that's plenty, plenty tall. But we're going to do it. If we're going to leave it like this, and uh, not just pull that off and put it back on, we'll drop that riser about six inches or so. And uh, But I think that's cool. Future plans is to come in here and cut this out and put a big flat plate in there. That way we can put a big number 14, uh, big number 14 pot on there. Interesting, that's a six inch wide uh, uh, square tube, and you can see where the heat is, is hitting that pot. Right at six inches, right dead center. But uh, it's cooking fine. We just need to cook some of that old, we cooked pork chops in there a while ago. I set it on there just to kind of see how fast it we turn that, how fast that bowl changes. Changes pretty quick. It's working its way back into that different area of the pot there. Probably wouldn't take it another three or four minutes. And that's the same wood we had earlier. Alright. Here we go with our tailgater special rocket stove. Or Texas Longhorn. It's laying down right now. We're uh, getting ready to put our uh, flat plate right here this is actually going to be standing up let me uh turn this up here and now you see how that's one smokestack i have a flat plate in here it's going to be our cooking area right here we'll bring up a little half moon plate flat across here half moon plate flat across here to close that off and uh the uh heat's going to come up here Hit this flat plate, roll out, and then reverse and go back up each one of these uh, uh, riser tubes. That's a uh, six and five eighths, I think. Hold on a second. Can't quite remember. Well, let's see. Yeah, it's a uh, six and five eighths outside to outside inside the insides of oh, six six inch and then we have our uh, six inch square tube and our riser that's going to be the riser right there and that's our feed tube same six inches feed tubes right here there's our uh, front door which is going to be that right there basically that's just a piece of six inch out here then I took another piece of six inch and just cut it here 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 and here shrunk it down a little bit that way it'll fit in here that's gonna be our door a well the handle on this side of it this is just a jig piece here that doesn't it's no part of the stove so uh, then I'm gonna cut a plate to go on the back of there and uh, six by six round the corners off welded up solid and we'll be testing the rocket stove here our tailgater special or longhorn whatever you want to call it uh at, we got a few little notice we cut that pipe we didn't realize where that pipe's off you can see the right side's a little bit higher than the left we didn't realize that we didn't have our chop saw back on zero. Anyway, a couple little tweaks here and there. And we'll be firing the thing up, checking it out. Cheers.